Okay. It's still cold out. Actually, today it's pretty. It's really cold out. But the missus has the wood stove cranking while I'm gone, which is nice because you come come back from work and the house is nice and toasty. And it's it's funny. She's always like, "How can you sit in front of that thing?" Uh, like that. Don't doesn't that burn? I'm like, well, I just spent eight hours outside in the freezing cold, so uh, no, it feels pretty good because <laughs> it is cold. And uh, today, what we're gonna do is I started this yesterday actually, um, digging out. Uh, a friend of mine is extending his um, pad for his garage, and. Um, he he uh hired us to come in and um dig out all the all the soil and um put in uh it's it's not recycled asphalt it's it's ground up <clears throat> ground up concrete so he can pour his footing uh he's going to set his footing boards on it for the slab and uh so we went down about a foot and then put in 6 inches of uh this this stuff and um, then he's going to do a six inch slab on top of that to match up the height of the existing building. So I had to knock down a couple little trees. Uh, and he's just got miscellaneous stuff going on over there. Um, we did the original slab for the building and he's been really happy with it. I didn't do the concrete work. So we'll let's go check it out. All right. I down here, I checked the oil, got everything rolling up. It's gonna just grease everything. The stuff I was pushing yesterday was kind of sandy. Uh, here's a little tip some old dude taught me one time. Just let your grease gun sit. I tried to grease at the end of the day, but it was it was dark yesterday when I left here. So what I do is put 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 the grease gun in the exhaust and just get it kind of warm you know so the grease flows but anyways this this is what we're working on today all right i'll flip you around here so you guys can see this is his building that he fixes stuff we just tied up that skirt for now that's like a water skirt so the water comes down that skirt goes up to there but he's getting a new building this is coming down, he's getting an actual, like, all framed metal building, and the company's coming out to do it. So, he needed to add, well, I don't think, he, I think he's coming over 8 feet more, but we went 10 feet, and then I'll spread some of the raw loam in there and after, and he can seed it. But it got dark last night. This is that crushed, uh, recycled concrete. Um, so, it got real dark. I mean, we were doing this with the laser. And you could see the laser line right against the building. Um, it was, it was actually kind of cool, the laser mark. But, it's just too hard. Even with the lights on, you can't really do a good grading job. So, the back is going to be out 8 feet. And then that corner is going to be out 8 feet out eight feet so we just went ten and then I'll clean all this down he's got a bunch of land here so we put that tree there for now and then we'll run it through the chipper later so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the laser fine-tune fine-tune this and uh, hit it with a compactor and should be good after that and then he'll pour his concrete uh, I, I'm not gonna do the concrete work I could I just it's not my thing you know stick to what you know stick to what you know or stick to what you like you gotta do what you like or you won't be good at anything so I got my mini and my skid steer here and uh, yeah we'll go from there
All right, what I gotta do is we're just gonna clean up where the truck dumped this stuff. And then we're gonna compact all this with the plate compactor. That's fine, I don't wanna go down too thin in the middle. Oh, no, I'm just gonna grade it out. I'm just gonna drag it a little back and forth and smooth it out. So we got the plate compactor out. We're gonna compact it. Let me flip you guys around here. So basically, we took the laser. And you gotta use a laser because your eyes will play tricks on you. You think something's level, it's not. So we're gonna hit it with a compactor. And then I'm gonna see the ground's kind of frozen. Not kind of, it's frozen. It's hard to grade because you come across, you know, like this, and you know, you know and the bucket's just sliding over the frozen ground. And then you hit a little bit of, you know, unfrozen stuff and it takes it out. So that's why we do a lot of tuning with the rake. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave him this little bit right here 